All right, guys, we are going to do singles, okay? I know I haven't done one in a while, so we're going to do a singles reading. Thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed. If you need anything, check out the description. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, we're so close to 15,000. I will be giving away two free readings at 15,000, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, if you guys need anything, check out the description box. There's a keen offer down there. You can get a psychic or a medium reading. They have amazing gifted people on that site. I am not one of them, but there is plenty to choose from. And you have a deal down below if you want to check that out. Second channels down below. There's all kind of little goodies down below. All right, Pisces. I feel like right now you're really trying to go in a direction or take action on getting what you deserve. I feel like you're not at a place where you're wanting to settle. You're really wanting to... <clears throat> in cycles, in the hardships that you've been through. But I also see that someone here, maybe somebody you've dealt with, is still really guarded, really guarded about coming in and giving something and investing. So this could be somebody that you've been waiting for, somebody you've been wanting to come in, somebody you've wanted to invest in, somebody from your past. For each of you, it's going to be different. We're going to try to dig in more. <clears throat> but I do see someone who's either a soulmate or a twin flame. Somebody where you're wanting what you deserve, but somebody here is guarded and still getting on my nerves, pretty much. Guarded and getting on my nerves. Y'all, if I don't quit hearing about this guarded-ass person, I'm going to snap. What do we have coming in for Pisces singles? What's the current moment for my single Pisces? What's the current moment? Shenanigans. <clears throat> So, current moment, somebody's about to bring a new offer of love in. Yeah, it's going to be unexpected. Somebody's either going to bring in an apology or a message of love. What's the challenge for this, though? This is going to happen within the next few days. The challenge is some sort of emotional fulfillment. So, this person can be emotionally unavailable for some of you. How does this person view the connection? What's going on for Pisces singles? Wait, no. Hold on. Yeah, you're feeling sad and disappointed. Tired of waiting is what I just heard. Some of you guys are tired of waiting on what you deserve. Really focusing on the things that aren't working out for you right now. Needing to remember that the things that you're going through are blessings, even if sometimes it doesn't feel like it. Because when you do get that person, you're going to be like, you know what? I understand why I went through all of that. Very interesting. So your current moment is somebody bringing in a new emotional offer. But the challenge is you feeling some sort of emotional fulfillment. You could be feeling stuck on who's going to be bringing you an offer. <clears throat> For some of you, you could be stuck on the type of offer that they're bringing. What's the past energy for Pisces singles? Past energy for Pisces singles. Yeah, feeling left out, feeling lack. For some of you, you could have felt abandoned or rejected, feeling like you're not getting what you deserve. You could have really attracted a lot of people who were guarded, made you feel like you weren't enough to get a solid pinnacle. I just heard I had to make the I had to make the pinnacle myself. Three of Swords with it. So past energy, feeling sad, feeling disappointed, a lot being unknown. Somebody could have been <clears throat> um, very deceitful, had some sort of sneaky energy, not having your best interest at heart. I just feel like a lot of things in your past, you didn't feel like you've seen everything clearly. And it's like the people that you attracted or the things that you've invested in, there was always this holding back energy. I feel like for some of you, again, you felt lack, you felt rejected, and a constant sad and disappointed energy, like, I'm getting stabbed in the heart again. Here I am investing in someone or trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, trying to see the good in them, willing to invest, and it's not working out. Very interesting. So what is the future energy? We want the near future energy for Pisces singles. So somebody's going to come in. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody that you've walked away from. Heavy energy, somebody you've walked away from. <clears throat> They're going to come in and speak a truth. But the challenge is some sort of emotional fulfillment. So this person could be emotionally unavailable. For some of you, this could be somebody doing it again. 
Like, you've been through this again with your ex, your baby mama, your baby daddy, whoever it be for you. It's like this person's going to try one more time, but the challenge is constantly getting what you know you need and you want to make you fulfilled in this connection. That's the challenge here. Yeah, there's a lot that's unknown. There could be things that are hidden as well. So what is Pisces not seeing? What is Pisces singles not seeing right now? Yeah, there could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. There could be somebody that's toxic. Somebody who... There's a change in transformation that's needing to be had. And it could be with an Aries for some of you. I'm getting somebody's emotionally unavailable. <clears throat> So what you're not seeing is that if you give in to some sort of temptation, you're going to still feel sad and discontent. Don't give in to short-time pleasures. That's what I'm getting. Somebody from your past could be coming back, trying to wiggle their way back in after you walking away from them. And I feel like it's going to be a half buck offer for some of you. Some of you could be manifesting them to invest, though. What the universe wants Pisces to know? What does the universe want Pisces singles to know? I just heard sleep on it. And use your intuition. I don't let anyone or anything take you out of your groundedness. So re remember to stay grounded within yourself. So, I'm feeling like you don't need to have a sense of urgency when it comes to this person or this connection, whoever this is. Because the challenge is them bringing to the table what they need to bring. Period. You're needing to use your intuition. You could, you, you could lose a little bit of sleep over this, whoever this person is. But what you're not saying, again, is that you if you give in to something, you're going to regret it. And I feel like it's some sort of temptation. Yeah, because there's going to continue to be some sort of confusion. This person could be bad about trying to feed you some sort of illusion as well. Very interesting. What does Pisces need to focus on right now? You need to remain strong when it comes to taking a leap with someone. Try to see through the fog is what I'm getting. Try to see through the fog. Try to make sure that you're very true to yourself. Yeah, and you're going to get victory. For some of you, you could want to take a leap with someone or something. You could want to give in to this. But before you do, make sure you have a conversation. There needs to be a conversation and a truth hat and a new beginning started. Okay? Um, but what you need to focus on is you remaining strong and pushing forward. Using your intuition about moving forward. What's going to bring you victory and success right now? I feel like you don't need to put too much into this person. Yes, yeah, I said that. Look, the Empress. Yeah, you need to be in an energy where you're attracting. You're focusing on your stability, your home, your finances. If you have children, focus on that. A lot of self-love, self-care. Making some choices that need to be made. There could be some hard choices coming up that you got to be got to make. You could be learning a lot. For some of you, going back to school. You could be signing some sort of contracts. I see some of you doing your taxes. Of course, tax season is coming up. Let's get a different deck. <clears throat> what is the possible outcome with this person for Pisces singles? As I spit every damn word. So it is a soulmate or a twin flame. Victory, success, but someone being guarded. Oh, God. So somebody's wanting to come in and maybe go out for like one night. Okay, so if this is a baby mama, baby daddy, they're wanting to come in again for one time and they'll disappear again is what I'm getting. If this is a lover, they're wanting to come in. They're going to say that they're trying to bring something new, but there's a lacking energy. There's still going to be some sort of confusion that they're going to keep you in. I feel like this person's very confused their self, which is why it's hard for them to bring you any clarity because they don't even know what the hell they want. I feel like there's a lot of boredom and discontentment in their own environment. I feel like they're very wrapped up in any toxicities that they have, any demon-like. Um, so they could literally be an addict for some of you. They could just be obsessive in their thoughts, in the way that they do things, in how guarded they are, in how they like to 
people to be confused and not really know what they're thinking. And as I said that, my guinea pigs are squealing. This person's very guarded about moving forward. They do see you as someone that's a soulmate, someone that was placed in their life for a reason. But I also feel like there's a reason that you've walked away from this person in the past because there was always a back and forth energy. It's like this person can't commit or this person can't be a stable part of your life. And some of you are going to move forward to something different, a different collaboration if this is a lover. Some of you can move forward to being single, deciding not to be with this person. But I do see some sort of communication that you're going to be having. I do see you guys moving as well. You could be juggling about moving, going back and forth on whether or not you're ready for that kind of action. Again, for each of you, it's going to be different. Some of you could be wanting to change your phone number as well. Interesting. What else for Pisces singles? Knowledge card. I don't feel much coming off the tarot now. I feel like they're just wanting you to know that somebody's coming back. Somebody that you've already dealt with and they're continuing to be the same way. They've not changed. You need to focus on your victory, your success. Keep moving forward. Yeah. Embrace the flow of life. I feel like they're wanting you to just keep doing what you're doing. Keep going in a direction that you've been going in. Don't let this person really stir too much out of you. Give me one for Pisces singles. What do we have for Pisces singles? Trust that all will be well. Don't let the past hold you back. Yeah. You've walked away from this person for a reason. Okay, so let's get the new. Let's see what new is coming in. Let me get a different deck. Hold on a minute. Is there anything new coming in for Pisces singles? Is there any new... Coming in for Pisces singles. Is there any new coming in for Pisces singles? So I see something in a few weeks happening. A few weeks, few months. Is there anything new coming in for Pisces singles? But the person's going back and forth or not. Whoever it is, they're overwhelmed in their head. What's the new coming in for Pisces singles? So somebody's going to come in and give an apology. Again, this could be this past person. Somebody that's back, so I betrayed you. It's, again, same song, same dance. I feel like you're going to have to get through that. Maybe even reject their collaboration. I'm getting strong air sign. So you guys could have to go through you rejecting this person or finally putting the nail in the coffin with this person before they'll give us anything new. Yeah, because there's a lot of confusion around this person. You need to use your intuition on if this person can have some sort of stability in your life. What can they bring you? Or are they just something that's fun for the moment? That's kind of what I'm getting. What do they spark in you? I see you bringing an ending to something. Something that's not stable, not here for forever. Someone who's constantly guarded. So, in the past, Pisces, somebody here walked away. Why? Yeah, somebody gave a truth. There was some sort of conflict. There could have been some sort of competition. Someone not wanting to give a new offer. Someone not giving someone what they deserve. But someone decided to guard what they wanted, their wish fulfillment, and decided to go in a different direction. So, it's like this person's wanting to come in and tell you, okay, I want to give you something now. But it still isn't what you want. Or it's too late. There's a constant guarded energy here. And the challenge is you getting an emotional stability with this person. Having a happy family, happy home. Feeling content in the connection. And it's like you're waiting. But the more you wait, there's a heartbroken energy here. Very interesting. Don't let your past hold you back from where you're going. Yeah. It's interesting how I said that. Look what's here. What are you wanting? Are you wanting something that's just passionate? Something that's fun, creative, that could possibly burn out? 
time will tell. Some things live forever when there's passion. You could have a new passionate beginning. Or are you wanting something that's here for the long haul? Are you wanting a happy family, a happy home, a stability, a structure, a foundation with someone feeling stable in a connection? And it's interesting how I feel like you're looking at that because that's what you're wanting. That's what you're wanting. But you have to let something go. You have to let the things that no longer serve you. And it's interesting because here's the two of fire. You have a path to choose. And you can choose this person. For some of you, it's an air sign. For some of you, it's not. It's someone that's emotionally unavailable. It's someone that looks at connections and love very logically. They don't put their heart in it. What can they gain from it? What can I get from it? And it's someone you've walked away from because you felt lack. Because you felt like you weren't getting what you wanted. And there's constantly this holding back energy, then making you feel confused. Hmm. I want to know what this King of Pentacles, Devil, Four of Cups is. What was this? Hold on. This was near future energy. Yeah, in their head. So, what is their toxicities? They could be an overthinker. Look, as I said that, King of Air, they could be absolutely an overthinker. Whoever you're dealing with could be a major overthinker. And look, as I said that, Nine of Air, this person could let their anxiety hold them back. It's like they're constantly stuck on this. Do they want it? Do they not? They don't want to be single. But taking the actions different. And I feel like the universe is asking you, what are you wanting? Because even when this person comes in, there's emotional um, guardedness with this person. I want to get some of what they're feeling. What do we have for some of this person's feelings for Pisces singles? I know you guys are tired of the past, but there's a reason this keeps coming up. Because some of you guys, I feel like, are not emotionally over it. Yeah, I've lost faith in you and I cannot see a future with you anymore. I feel like that's you. It's like some of you are trying, y'all need to get emotionally over this and realize that it's something that's always going to be conflicted. This person is emotionally unavailable. I feel empty and hollow inside. I cannot open up at night. But yeah, this person does think of you late at night, but it's like they're so stuck in their head. I don't feel guilty for how I treated you. My ego is too big to care. So they do have a really big ego. I don't see them coming up as the cups, which does bother me. I feel like this person, again, is very logical when they approach this connection. You shouldn't be logical. You're showing up as the queen of cups. You want something deep. You want something meaningful. You want something more. And this person's thinking about work and who are they going to text tonight? Hold on a minute. Y'all, we might have to leave these down here. Ugh. I hide my feelings. Yeah. I miss seeing you. Hmm. Uh, I can't be with you. It's very interesting. But see, there is an attraction here. But I feel like you're wanting more. You're wanting more than just an attraction or just the passion. You're wanting something deep. You're wanting someone you can go home to. Someone you can call to be that stable person for you. Someone that you can build a foundation with. Have a legacy with. You want something more. And I feel like there's this constant conflict. Are you feeling like you have to fight for what you're wanting or battle for what you're wanting? And I feel like you're really getting some sort of truth or you did here in the past. That this person's very conflicted, which is why I feel like you're so willing to leave it behind. Yeah, but there's an energy here where they're wishing that they could take this back. That they could go back. For some of you, I feel like this person thinks that they can't give you what you deserve. Maybe this person feels like they can't be meaningful or be worthy in a relationship or a connection. I feel like this person could definitely be reflecting on something that happened in their past where they were tricked or betrayed or something didn't work out. Hmm. I don't know, guys. We're going to leave that here for today. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear, but it is what it is. Have a blessed day.